Hello everyone and welcome to another episode of Cinnamon Stitches. I am your yarn host Jennifer. I know, it's not crazy hair day anymore. But I feel pretty. <laughs> Today on Podcaster Spirit Week is Ugly Shirt Day. Now, the shirt that I'm wearing, I did not particularly think was ugly when I bought it. But I have been told by my daughter that it is ugly. <laughs> And aside from ratty old t-shirts that I keep because they're comfortable and I wear them to bed, this is the only shirt that I possess that I feel like is ugly. <laughs> it's not ugly per se. It doesn't, it's not necessarily flattering on me. My daughter hates it and I, I bought it to go with a pair of pants that it clearly does not go with, which I can't find those pants right now. So I'm going to show you, I'm going to stand up and show you the shirt. <laughs> And some of you are going to agree with me. It's not ugly. So, it is very fat lady shirt. <laughs> the sleeves, I, I'm not a big fan of the sleeves. Um, the sleeves are just too, I don't like the bell style sleeves. I feel like it just makes me look fatter. Um, but it's not, it's comfortable. <laughs> so, Lala Mama Kayla wanted us to show her ugly shirts and this is the closest thing I have to an ugly shirt but I think it's pretty but because my daughter has told me that it's hideous now I don't want to wear it because it makes me feel bad but she didn't do it she's not mean-spirited she just doesn't like the shirt and that's fine because I am honest with her when I think she's wearing something ugly so uh, we don't sugarcoat anything in this house because we are not candy makers so this is my ugly shirt. Mama, Mama, Kayla wanted to see our ugly shirts. And she wanted to know why we still hang on to them even though they're ugly. The reason I hang on to this is because it was not a cheap shirt. <laughs> it was on clearance, but it was still like 30 bucks. And I've never worn it a full day. And I feel bad that I paid $30 for a shirt that I don't wear because now I feel bad about it. So that's why I still have it. But it's not bad. I mean, it looks really nice in this video. <laughs> so this might be a filming shirt even though it does not match my Halloween pants that I currently have on. But that's okay. It's okay, that's the closest thing I got, Kayla. It's, it's <laughs> I went through our closets, I think at the beginning of summer, and I threw out like five garbage bags worth of clothes from between me and Mr. Cinnamon. That's not a lot because our clothes are big, so <laughs> it doesn't take a lot to fill up our clothes into a garbage bag. And, um, I also threw out like old blankets and sheets that I had for beds that we don't even own anymore because we have really really deep pocket foam mattresses now so, and that's all of us so the sheets I had for the kids bed before that I kept as backups in case somebody threw up in the bed or whatever I got rid of all that because they don't fit the bed anyway and so like I got rid of so much stuff and that included clothes that didn't fit right that um, I thought someone else could use clothes that just were <laughs> had seen better days or I'd had too long or clothes that I loved but they didn't fit anymore or clothes that I loved and I just didn't wear them anymore because I got new stuff that I loved even more so I don't have a lot of just clothes hanging around in my closet anymore so now aside from ugly shirts today's Wednesday I got some new hooks from Amazon and I'm probably gonna flip the camera around and show you guys these hooks close up these are divot shilp brand hooks and they look identical to the omi hooks that i have so i am going to unbox these but i'm going to flip you guys face and down so just give me one minute all right so i got some yarn because i'm going to test these hooks out and i'm going to compare them against the omi hooks um, and the reason is, is because they are so much like the Omi hooks. Now I looked up this brand, Divot Shilp. I actually do have a couple, I do have a couple Divot Shilp, so let me, oh God, I can't grab it. Oh, that's heavy. Let me grab my caddy. My caddy. And grab that one. And. I know that I have a divot shelf in here somewhere. Somewhere. Somewhere out there. My hook is singing a song. Let me grab that one too. 
I know that I have a divot shelf, and I just don't remember what it looked like. Is it the yellow one I'm using in the other room? Probably. Okay, so Divot Shelf has hooks that look this shape. And I don't, I can't find it right now. And I know that I have one. I believe I was sent one or I might have a metal one. Anyway, it does not matter. <laughs> okay, these are my Omi hooks. And I told you guys in the past that I really love the shape of these hooks because they are very much like a magic wand. And it makes me feel fancy. And I just think they're pretty. And I know they're showing up really dark. This one is like reds and like black. And then this one is the orange and black. Which is absolutely stunning. And I have I have different colors of that as well. So when I saw these, look at that looks very similar, right? So I wanted to try them out side by side. And when I looked up this Divot Shilp brand, they make urns for like cremation, like human ashes. And that is mostly what they sell. Why they went off and are doing crochet hooks, I have no idea. And I also don't know if Divot Shilp is somehow connected to the Omi brand, which these are Omi, this is Divot Shilp. And I don't even know if I'm saying that name right. So we're going to, I already opened these and looked at them. <laughs> so this one is the, just says Beta Ergo Red, 5 millimeter. It comes packaged exactly like the Omi hooks come packaged with this thing on here. Okay. And this is the red and white one. And it is absolutely beautiful. And it looks exactly like the Omi hooks. <laughs> so, um, I, there's minor differences and just minor. Whereas this stripe is up higher. But the red and white. And these hooks, I think I paid 12. Let me double check. Let me double check my Amazon account while I got you here. Let's see. Amazon. Amazon. Prime. I was going to show you and it went away. Prime Early Access. Something or another. Orders. All right. Um, $11.85. And I will link these below. See the red? $11.85 different sizes. They are of course in limited stock in most sizes. I got the five millimeter because I use five millimeter a lot. I just look at how pretty that is. It's got all the beautiful swirls. It's got the magic wand handle. It's got the same head as the Omi. So I bought that one and then I got this one which is the coffee color. I guess I also got this in 5mm. Why did I get them both in 5? Oh, this is so pretty. Now, I will say the the, the coffee uh, hooks from Furls are being discontinued currently. And so they're on sale. Buy one, get one for like, I don't know, like a penny or a dollar or something like that. Um, the coffee shop ones look like this. But they're, I think they're more brown than they are white. But this one is so pretty. Look at that. Isn't that beautiful? It's like a little work of art. But I also, aside from it just looking like a work of art, these are actually really nice hooks. Well, the Omi ones are anyway, but these are identical to the Omi in looks. And I'm going to work with it to let you know for sure. Uh, what was I looking up? Coffee shop. Oh yeah, I was making sure that I got the right size. I find it hard to believe that I ordered 5mm for both. And it's not telling me order details. Oh, 
It does not say what size I ordered in the order. Okay, five millimeter. Yeah, I ordered them both in five millimeter, which I find to be odd, but it's fine. So aren't these pretty? <laughs> I know I spent way too much time looking that up, but that's fine. I use five millimeter most frequently. I just think they're so pretty and they feel so nice. I just love the way they feel in my hand. All right, so let's work them up and just, you know, to double check, make sure, look at that, Dollar Store yarn. This is just the Just Yarn Worsted from Dollar Tree in a skin tone. This color is, well, not quite my skin color, but it's very light, very pinky. All right, now, it feels in my hand <laughs> much like Yep, much like the Omi hooks. So I've turned you guys on to the Omi hooks. We know all about the Omi hooks because they are my favorite hooks right now. They are the hooks I reach for first. I feel like I'm doing a magic trick when I crochet with them. They feel really good in my hand. And see, I just hold them like this. Very open-handed. I don't have to grip them because of all these beautiful curves. It stays in my hand really easily without me having to grip it, which is why I like because some days my grip is just awful and I can't hold anything. And it doesn't matter how high or how low I hold the hook, there's always a place for my fingers to rest in one of these grooves, which is why I really love these hooks. They are also really smooth. They are, they glide, they glide through most yarn. They are fragile because they are resin. So you have to treat them with care and you have to um, not toss them around. But I showed you guys in a past video, I have somewhere on my desk. What did I do with it? I have a hard case that I keep my hooks in. Let me see if I can find it. It was here. It was here. It was on my cart. It was on my cart. I have one of these that I purchased from Amazon. This was like $6. But it's it's hard and it protects my hooks. So if I'm going to throw this in my project bag, you slide one in there. It'll keep it safe. You can put another one on the other side. Actually, this fits four hooks. And then you close it up. And it protects your hooks. Like you keep this in your bag, keeps your hooks safe. I will link that below too because I also got that on Amazon. And my Amazon links are affiliate links, but if you don't purchase from, it doesn't bother me. I make very, very little tiny bit of money off of Amazon when somebody clicks those links. Amazon pays you like pennies. You know, if somebody clicked it, here's two cents. So they give me their two cents for giving you my two cents. <laughs> But every little bit does help. It does help. And I was surprised to see that the the divot shelf hooks looked so much like the Omi hooks. And they feel like the Omi hooks. And they're working up like the Omi hooks. Except I don't think Omi had this beautiful red vibrant color. So if you guys have been wanting to try these hooks. I know that $11.95 or $85, $11.85. I know that that is a lot to some of you who prefer the little metal hooks that's fine if you're on a budget and you can't afford this hook i i understand you don't have to explain that to me i do understand that but if you want to put this on like your amazon wish list for like to have your children or your sister or your husband or your girlfriend buy this for you <laughs> for christmas i mean why the heck not i'm starting to give you guys some ideas of stuff you might want for Christmas. I'm going to try out the coffee one, even though the coffee one looks exactly like this one. This hook case is fantastic for so many different hooks, not just the, the fragile ones. And it's not even that it's fragile. I mean, if you throw this on the floor, it could break. 
But like regular wear and tear, I've not had a problem with these hooks. I have not broke any of these hooks that look like this. And I did tell you that one of them had a defect here to where this part twists. And I just because this is made in two pieces. But I have not had a problem with it. I twisted it back tight and it never came loose again. So I think it was just a, a manufacturing default or defect. But other than that, I love these hooks. I love them. I love the way they look. And if you're like a, a podcaster and you take a lot of Instagram pictures or something like that for your work, this looks really beautiful laid next to your work and then you stylize your whole thing for your photograph because I know a lot of a lot of people do that. <laughs> but it's also a good hook aside from being beautiful. It is a good hook. Got my hair wrapped around my finger. And I was very happy when I logged on to Amazon and they had Omi hooks galore. They had um, these this divot shilt hooks galore. And um, they even had, and this one has been out of stock forever. They even had this one. This is a wood resin hook. They even had this one in stock recently. So if I can find, I will link all of these hooks below. Because I really like, I like both the Omi and the, the divot shilt hooks now. So I will link this style. I will link that one if I can find it. And if you click my link and you purchase other things aside from this, I also will make a small profit back from that as well. So whenever you click my Amazon link, it works exactly like the Premier Yarns links. You click it and no matter what you buy, if you buy this hook or if you buy diapers or if you buy um, toilet paper, <laughs> like if you buy paper, whatever you buy off of Amazon, by, after you click that link, I will get a profit for that. So and it, it's always helpful here for the channel because I use those monies to go right back into the channel to buy yarn to show you guys, to buy hooks to show you guys, to buy um, any kind of tool for the channel to show you guys. It funds my Tuesday Tea with Cinnamon videos. That really, really does help. So that's why I do. That's why I put those links in there. Just to help fund the things that you guys like me seeing. So, yeah. Love these hooks. I do recommend them. They are they are basically the only hooks, except they're made by a company that makes urns. <laughs> I don't know why. I, I I I just was like, okay, maybe it's the same name, but it's a different company. But no, they even have that little, kind of looks like a hand, but it also kind of looks like a dove or a goose. I don't know what it is. See how it kind of looks like a hand, but then it kind of looks like a dove that's flying this way. But then it also has like a goose face here where the thumbnail should be. So I don't know... Maybe if because it was an urn, it was supposed to be a bird. I don't know. I just, I laughed so hard. I was like, why are urns and crochet hooks made by the same company? Are the urns made out of resin? I don't know. But these are so, this ain't even the one I bought. This is the Omi hook, the orange and black. This is the divot shelf. The red is the divot shelf. I don't even know what other colors they have, but are those not gorgeous? I just love the, the swirly colors, the beautiful details. And while this is almost looking black on camera, it is very much a dark coffee color. It's like brown. And brown is not normally my favorite color. But man, that's a pretty hook. It's all swirly. I like looking at the swirl designs. And I've done this since I was a child. And I try to make out and see. Like, see, this kind of looks like there's a guy standing right there. I was trying to make out like the details. Oh, and that looks like a dinosaur head right here. Let's see if I can block the light. Dinosaur head sticking out of the water and his reflection is below. Yeah. I just like looking at them. I think they're pretty. Let's see, what can we find in the red? You see anything there? That kind of looks like some sort of animal. Oh, beautiful. All right, so I will link all of those things below. Thank you so much for watching, for tuning in. Um, Omi Hooks, which is spelled O-M-M-I, or Divot Shilk, which is spelled like that. 
D-I-V-I-T-S-H-I-L-P. I will link whatever I can find below. They were Amazon links, and I will also link a case like this if I could find one. Like I said, it was only $6, but it keeps my hooks safe, and I don't worry about them getting stepped on, broken, anything like that. So, all right, guys, I will see you in the next one. Bye!